Keska, what's up guys? It's Tismiki here with another Diablo 3 video. Now today on February 25th, the patch 2.0.1 just came live. I know that it has been on the PTR for the past couple of months, but I, I myself wasn't going to get on there. I had some scorecard to do and I just didn't have time to get on there. So this is actually my first look at what the patch 2.0.1 really is. And first thing off, in the spot where you could usually pick your quest, that's all changed. Um, if you go to the game settings here, you see that you have the campaign usual, and you have another adventure mode, which is actually not able to use until Reaper Souls comes out on March 25th. Um, the difficulties, instead of being normal, nightmare, hell, inferno, have changed from normal to to torment and on torment you have a difficulty slider but on master expert hard and normal you actually don't so it's going to be hard to be able to to put like a normal like an mp10 for example because if i'm not mistaken they got rid of monster power levels so we're not have any more of those which kind of sucks but i guess they want to change it for the best um also i think they got rid of um, the auction house. There's no auction house button here. They said they're going to do it on March 25th, but they may have done it early in uh, in order to get ready for the release. So coming into the game first thing, I know there's been some gameplay out, but I'm just going to go over the basics. They've done a bit of uh, a GUI change. There's been uh, some added things here, some you know angels and demons on the side. It looks pretty good, I think. Um, now a lot of the things haven't changed, but what I think is really cool is that on some of the runes here, the kind of top there kind of shows the different different stuff. But if you change to an actual difference, I know it was like this before, but I, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's it's a bigger change to make them uh, look look different. Uh, I believe they have changed a few spells, not many. They didn't really mess with much stuff. I know that for demon hunters anyway, archery has been changed. They added a thing for a second hand crossbow to get an extra 100 per second. Well, I guess I wanted to vary up how people were playing. Um, now, as far as I can tell, they only added one new skill, and that's Vengeance. And um, I haven't really read it yet, but it looks pretty cool. It gives you side guns, homing rockets. It's under the Devices tab. But other than that, I don't think they even added any more runes. I think the runes right now, for example, you might get them as you upgrade, but right now they're kind of the same. Uh, I know that some passives were changed, um, and as I said, they added three more passives, which are which are pretty cool. And I think the biggest thing that the patch was able to release is the Paragon 2.0. As you guys know, now everyone has the exact same Paragon, and you get Paragon points. Oops, wrong button there. So you're able to put them into the four respective categories. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw them into here. I haven't done much research on what's the best thing to put them in right now, but I'm just going to kind of go off what uh, what seems good. Uh, now, the one thing I don't know is if area damage stacks on already placed AoE abilities. So I'm going to have to figure that out, because if it does, you can kind of double up on how much damage you do in, in a mob, which, which would be pretty good for, for Demon Hunters. So I'm going to go into the new map here. So the cool thing is that you can kind of switch map levels right here. Uh, th this part is is a bit weird, but if you hit M, for example, that's the first thing that pops up. So if you want to make sure that you can see what's going on, you can kind of switch back and forth. And if you want to go to the pathway, Oasis, for example, you don't have to be here exactly. If you're over here, you can click on Path Oasis, and you just teleport. So if you need to teleport other places quicker, you don't have to go to the actual path oasis, which I think is pretty cool. Also, I think that I noticed is that the uh, new toughness skill here and the damage has changed a little bit, but the items that say how much uh, stat changes if equipped are very, very off. If I equip this, for example, it says I'm going to lose 68 damage, but I lose about 100k. So I'm not sure if that's just a thing uh, live right now that they're going to have to change, or if the way that they do the stats is a bit different, but we'll definitely have to see how that goes. Now, Pool of Reflection, they... Oh, they added a bonus Pool of Experience, which is, which is pretty cool. 
And they now, you can now actually drop ingredients. Uh, interesting. As you can see, the numbers have changed a little bit. They seem to be more crisp and more defined, and um, they, they fade away a lot quicker. So if you're doing a ton of damage, you're not going to have a lot of lag breaking down your system, which is pretty cool. Also, for the items, they have changed the way that legendary sets work. If you see, like, in the... Well, not how they work, but how they look. So we'll have a green in the background, which, which is pretty cool. So you can tell the difference between a set and the difference between a legendary. Aha, my first rare. Let's see how they how they go. Oh, that's a new what is that? Thunderstorm. Oh, that seems to be a new ability. Interesting. Also, another thing that I wasn't sure about is whether or not they kept the Nephilim Valor. I believe they did, but uh, after I kill this mob here, we can figure out for sure. Not if I don't die first. Because that Thunderstorm can get really, really, really painful. Ah, this would change how uh, the potions look, which is kind of cool. And just the fact that they did all these changes before the game came out, I'm really impressed with. And these games are going to be free to play. You don't have to buy the expansion to get these changes. So even if you're not looking for um, the, the new expansion, you can still get these updates, which I think have increased the gameplay. Not drastically, but they have increased the quality of gameplay, I would say. Okay, so I did not receive Nephilim Valor, and I also did not receive anything extremely good. Oh, but the way that the health globes come to you are pretty cool. Um, I think that might be a big reason, because right now, my magic find is is 0%. They have changed it so that you no longer gain magic find from things such as monster power level or paragon level. So now the only way you can get monster find is through items. So I'm going to go to my Paragon here, and I'm going to change that, because having mo having a bit of... Oh, even you, ca you can't even use Paragon to, to get Magic Find. That's going to be very interesting. Anyhow, I think that the game is looking really, really nice. I'm really looking forward to the release on the 25th. I'm going to be doing a live stream as soon as it comes out, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys want to see any more Diablo 3 or gaming videos in the future, just subscribe, hit that like button, and take care.